Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks, and somebody's trying to put a shadow around a lens effect. If you look, this is a group of 11 objects. Well, it was a lens effect, and it's just, you could not put a shadow around it. So we're going to use the lens effect, actually the fisheye lens, and just make a rectangle quite a bit bigger than your box. Go up to fisheye, and you know, it doesn't look like, I'll tell you what, let's do this. Let's make sure that they're both in the center of the page. I don't do this too often. So you need to select your square, go to fisheye, and then let's bump this up quite a bit to whatever you feel, you know, that it would be better if it was two other words. Uh, the and is kind of spacing it out, but that's good enough. And then, so you've got this lens effect, but it's, you know, part of this other part. So we need to go to object, can't ungroup it, can't really do anything, but we can cut that. Well, what I did not do is take and make it frozen. Then you can take your virtual segment on delete key and delete these lines. Now the original wordage is back there. But what he's having problems with is, and you can see the bounty box is still there, and it says frozen lens effect. You can't put a shadow on it uh, because it's a lens effect. But what you can do, and this is how I've already helped him, I'm going to left click, right click. And like I said, if it was a different text, it would look a little bit better, a different wordage. I'm going to see how big, and see, you can still see the bounty box. We got 11 inches, so almost 12, so let's make our nudge factor 15. And we're just gonna take the Smart Fill tool and fill in these letters. And what we're doing, is we're creating new objects. That's what the Smart Fill does. It creates a new object. So it's no longer a lens effect. It is just a text. It's not a text, it's a shape. Now we're gonna go to object and group and group them together. And then go to the shadow tool and make a shadow. Now, what I always like about the shadow tool is you can grab the shadow tool and you can go to object and you can break the shadow apart. Then you can move the shadow wherever you want to, you know, uh, and you can move it around anyway, but uh, pretty cool effect. And uh, that looks like it's wrapping around a globe. I'm pretty sure that we could do the same thing with an ellipse, elongated ellipse. Let's hit P, put it in the center of the page. Put our words in the center of the page. Now let's grab our line and go to the lens effect. I don't think the shape has anything to do with it. And then we're gonna up it like to 200%. But let's, you know what, I'm gonna change the wording, just kind of give you an idea of what it would look like. Tell you what, I'm just gonna type out a new one. Uh, all caps. Well, and I'm actually gonna make Corel Draw all one word like it normally is. And I'm gonna make it bold. And then let's get our ellipse and use the lens effect on fisheye. You know, if, if you ever have this happen to you that it doesn't work, it's because that, that ellipse has already been used and it's, see how it's kind of a tricked out? So just draw you a new ellipse. It used to bug me when I couldn't figure out what I was doing wrong. Wasn't doing anything wrong, but you'd already used that. And now you can see how that uh, really makes it pop out if it's either one word or no spaces between the two. And then all you do is just take, make it frozen and then move that out of the way. And you can't really ungroup it, but if you, and you really don't even have to get rid of the circle if you're going to do what I did. Uh, just left click, right click, and fill it in with a color from the Smart Fill tool. And all that's doing is creating a new shape and pretty cool effect. It looks like it's going 
uh, like an old movie screen where it's going around the globe. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.